alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, Kevin Durant. And one thing that Durant has made very clear in his young career is that he's going to be a factor in clutch situations. He wants the ball in his hands with the game on the line. You know, he's got that green, thin body and looks a little wispy and carefree out there. But underneath that jersey beats the heart and edge of, I think, a killer in terms of putting the ball in the back. Last game for the Warriors, they pick up the W against the Dallas Mavericks. I thought the way they attacked the rim and got into the paint was phenomenal. It seemed like after a while, the defense just kind of waved the white flag. That's exactly what will happen when a team continues to attack the goal and come away with layups. It demoralizes the defense. Boy, it was an impressive turnaround for Mark Jackson and the Warriors last season. I mean, his promise of making the playoffs didn't come together in his first season at the controls, but in year two, they got it done. And I tell you what, most thought Mark would be a really outstanding coach, and he's well on his way to making that a reality. We're about one minute into the first. Nice shot, good. Nice way for him to get started here early. Hey guys, hopefully a sign of things to come from him here. Fires at the elbow. They get the rebound. Rejected by Long. And it's out of bounds. Oklahoma City able to retain possession here. And it's the Thunder with the ball. It's a three-point game. They're getting their first look of the season at the Warriors in this one. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Here's Maverick. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Well, with only one attempt so far falling, this is not looking good. One for four so far. Now let's go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to catch up with head coach Scott Brooks. Kevin, when addressing his game plan for today, he said there's just too much speed on the other side to make this a transition battle. He's confident they have an advantage in a half-court game, so that's the type of contest he'd like to take it to. We'll see how it works out for his club. And thank you, Doris. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play. Down low. And Jeremy Lamb, the bucket on the assist by Westbrook. Lamb's got five points so far. Golden State's drawn one or two from long range in the first quarter. Maverick can't get it to go. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Coming into this, having notched a win against the Rockets in their last game. Well, they benefited from some very loose play from their opponents that night, Clark. Yeah, you're exactly right. I mean, there were a lot of turnovers in that game. Some were caused by their good defensive play, but some were just careless. Kevin, I tell you what, when he gets to the rim like that, he's really hard to stop. Yeah, he can get up a, a few notches higher, there's no doubt. And yeah, that's how the game is played inside. I mean, if you can go over the top like that, you've got a great advantage. Now here's Westbrook. His last down in with 20 points. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead. The Warriors have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. No good from Clutch. Oklahoma City trailing. Durant dishes the lamp. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. And now to our rookie leader for a look at this month's steel leaders among the young guys. And you look at Clutch, always dangerous on the court. He leads the lead. And, of course, Maverick, just behind him. He's another guy who can pick your pocket. The stretch that these two youngsters have had defensively has been fantastic. I mean, they're pests. I mean that in a good way. Well, I like the way you framed it. That's accurate. I mean, they're a thorn in your side if you're an opponent. And so it's Golden State with it, following Russell Westbrook's three. Maverick passes to Long. Here's Clutch. Six on the shot clock. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Westbrook. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Well, he's just blazing fast off the dribble. He comes right at you. He's constantly attacking. And even if you try to anticipate what's coming, he still seems to either go around you or just right over the top of you. Really, he's got that bull in a china shop style once he gets into the lane. I mean, he's looking for contact and has the strength and jumping ability to take the bump and still finish. Williams. 
And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists tonight. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. Golden State moving the ball around. Here's Todd. His three-pointer is off the mark. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. Reverses. And it's Williams playing it in. Now, there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And for Mark Jackson, there have been some questions. He had never spent time as a coach, even as an assistant. Uh, you know, I guess the question was, Steve, would he be able to take over the reins as a head coach? Well, the biggest thing you want to do as an NBA coach is, is have your players buy into what you're selling. And, and Mark Jackson's been able to do that. His players believe in him. Uh, he motivates them. They like playing for him. And that's most of the battle right there. And the Warriors making a change here. Beverly's checked in. Fisher with the ball. Now guarded by Beverly. And Fisher kicks to Cephalosha. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. That's pretty much been the norm for them. Getting their points off assists and great ball movement. Nice rhythm and flow for this team. Tremendous communication and alertness. And that one's good. Beverly. Oh, the rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I thought it might be a little imprudent to try to get those points right back, but it worked. Lynn against Fisher. A nice shot by Lynn. Now, sometimes when you're at a height disadvantage, that's the way to attack. Go right at your defender. Cephalosia kicks to Williams. Offside Williams. Great D that time from Usher. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. The Warriors shooting their third and fourth free throw shot to the night. And that one falls for Lynn. Adams, he's checked in for Nick Collison. And it's tied up with that one. And at the free throw line, it's all about consistency with him. Same routine, same stroke. 29 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Sepalosia dishes to Fisher. Knocks it loose. Terrence Williams on the wing. And that comes off the assist by Derek Fisher. Six points for Williams. That's his third make in four attempts, guys. So quick start for the game. And out of bounds is the Thunder game possession. Here's Fisher. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Takes the three. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. Hamilton outside with one on the clock. Good. And so lots of scoring in that competitive first quarter. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Oklahoma City. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. Yeah, their passing has been terrific, too. Clark, uh, we're seeing a lot of assists, really moving, kind of flow offensively. I like what I see. Jordan Hamilton is out there with Harrison Barnes. Then it's Omer Usher. Then it's Jeremy Lynn. And it's Beverly in at the point. So that's the group out there for Golden State. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. Now let's go to the 2K leaderboard. These teams have been training everything they've put up this month. Second, the Warriors. They've been playing so smart lately. Just the way they move the ball and they share it. They're always finding good looks. Fisher with the ball. Now defended by Beverly. Fisher, the pass to Williams. He kicks it to Fisher. Back to Williams. From deep. No good. And Golden State will come the other way. Here's Hamilton. Soft touch off the glass. And the Warriors lead by two. I'd like to know what his percentage is from that range. I mean, it's got to be sky high. 
You know, with the recent success of Oklahoma City, you forget that in Kevin Durant's first season, they started out going 3-29. And I tell you what, you talk about their success, it's due to the resilience and perseverance and leadership of Kevin Durant and the rest of those guys. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Well, there is a culture of hard work, as Clark was talking about, and the perseverance for this Oklahoma City Thunder organization. Their star players, Steve, get a lot of credit, but it's the, it's the whole organization, don't you think? No question. It's the culture that was set. Scott Brooks has continued uh, to kind of establish that atmosphere in the locker room. And they have players who just want to work and, and want to get better. And when you have a, a large group of people all with that same approach, you're going to be very successful. No good from Lamb. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill, didn't give him the chance. Maverick passes to Clutch. Here is Doc. He's covered by Fisher. Passes it to Clutch. Lets it go with a three. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. Oklahoma City's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. You know, one thing with Scott Brooks, guys, he's very consistent with his message. You listen in on those timeouts. It's all about getting stops. Defense, 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 and letting their offense come from that. And the call will be against David Lee. That's his first foul. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call, that trip. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Durant comes in for Roberson. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Derek Fisher. Now a timeout called by Golden State. In part, you mentioned Brooks' single-mindedness. He stayed pretty constant with his rotations, too. And there's no doubt players appreciate knowing their role. But, you know, a lot of critics have been surprised at how Brooks has stuck to his lineups. Some lineups that didn't seem to be all that effective. You know, his usual starting lineup with Cephalosha and Perkins on the floor hasn't been their best in terms of plus-minus. But... Uh, Brooks, very loyal to his starting group. Got that one up quick. Dodge got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And of all the things about him uh, that you like offensively, it's his composure that jumps out at me. The way he never gets rattled. You know, the defense can get in him. He doesn't care. He just continues to do his thing. And there's something else on his resume that can't be overlooked. Just how many times he's taken over at the end of close games and carried his team to the win. And the Warriors with possession here, following the score by Oklahoma City. Shots good from Long. Long's got five points so far. Strong rebounding, and he's rewarded with the easy putback. It's stolen. And up. Oh, oh, man, that was a real hard to And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Warriors. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in the early going. And the offensive rebounding has been really impressive so far as well. So I really like this team's effort tonight. Durant, and that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's got five assists in the game. Well, his heart might be in Oklahoma City now, but growing up, Kevin Durant said he wanted to be, of all things, a Raptor. That's right, he was a Raptor fan. A lot of it, he said, was just wanting to be part of something new. And going back to Durant, I'm sure the Raptors... Would have loved to have had him. I gotta be honest, I did not know he grew up a Raptors fan. I had no idea. I'm guessing maybe he fell in love with Vince Carter at the dunk contest. Maybe that was yeah. it, yeah. Well, let's take a look at how Oklahoma City ranked in the league last year. First in blocks, first in free throw percentage. And they were ranked third in team scoring. This team knows how to score the ball. Entertaining at the offensive end. And the thing that really jumps out at me when you talk about all those stats, Clark, is the blocks. Because number one in the league, obviously, really protecting the paint. They had good length, a lot of depth, and the, the overall team beat. Ooh, that was awesome! <laughs> Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal the feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Durant's got four points this quarter. A great assist. Nice work from Russell Westbrook. Kept alive. The pass to Matt. He gets stolen by Lamb. That's tipped. Perkins kicks to Lamb. Outside Westbrook. 
Benish to land. Pocket six. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Now just a two-point Warrior lead. Now they're not showing too much respect for him defensively, are they? Just his first attempt. And the Warriors take on two more. 115 left to play here in the second quarter. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. I think Westbrook may be the, the most explosive player in the game right now. I mean, you've got Wade, Kobe, Derrick Rose, but uh, I think Russell Westbrook, with his speed and quickness, is probably the guy right now. And the Thunder making a switch here. And Westbrook, really a freak athlete. Clark, a terrific dunk. Yeah, he's a guy you would just love to see in the dunk contest, Kevin. But he says he's more of a game dunker and might not shine in the exhibition type format. And I can understand that. The dunks that Russell does in games are so vicious and so posterizing that it's hard to create that same type of tenacity and energy in a contest. So I think there are some guys that are more geared towards dunking in games than winning dunk contests. Hey, Bob, yeah. Boom, he jams it straight down. Went for the two-hander on that slam. That's where the weight room comes into play, <laughs> yeah, Kevin. I think some urgency from in there. Yeah, he's sensing this is a critical time in this game, guys. The shot's good from long. And he should thank the defense for those two points, really. Nobody paid him any mind there. Thunder trailing by four. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Durant for three. Lays out. And it's out of bounds to the Thunder as Oklahoma City retains possession. Nineteen seconds left to play here in the half. That's his second personal foul. If he gets another, he probably puts him on the bench for the rest of the first half. The Thunder have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Well, one of the highlights last season, this team shot the ball extremely well from the strike. Huge factor. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play free throw. He can fly, can he? He'll make you forget he's a point card sometimes. Yeah, play. when he does decide to attack the basket, Kevin, he can do it with the best of them. And this is the time to attack with, with these two teams locked in such a close game. Westbrook kicks to land. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Second quarter ends in a tight one. Warriors lead by... Now, presented by Sprint. Thanks for joining us this evening. For the Lakers... The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. A view of the Bay Bridge spanning from San Francisco over to the East Bay and Oakland. What can you say, Clutch, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, what a remarkable half the way he attacked the rim and scored in the paint. Defenders were trying to slow him down any way possible, but he still got through. Easier said than done when he's the penetrator. His speed and agility make him extremely hard to defend. Second half is underway, and here's who Scott Brooks has got on the floor. He ran outside at the three with the Bobby playing the power of four. Backcourt tandem, Westbrook and Jeremy Lamb, and it's Perkins in at the center position. Pass to Maverick. Thunder with the rebound. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, he had a really good look. I mean, he'll knock that down more often than not. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. Yeah, they've been really strong in the paint, battling the glass. And counting two points with a chance for one more at the free. Yeah, the interior defense simply has been lifeless. Well, you know, you look at David Lee, he's more of a skill finesse player, but plays with a great motor. Very intense and aggressive in his style. Always in motion, gets to the boards, offensively and defensively. And, you know, that combination of skill, hustle, and motor make him an all-star. Lamb dishes to Ibaka. Pass to Lamb. Wide open look. Jump shot is good that time. Lamb's got 12 in the game. Here's Hugh, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. 
And Clark, when you talk about the skill level for David Lee, not the biggest guy at six foot nine. I know you admire his game. And Steve, a great finisher at the same time with either hand. I think that's one of his greatest assets, Kevin, his ability to score around the basket uh, with either, either hand, as you mentioned. He can shoot the mid-range shot, handle the ball. They can run their offense through him. Uh, at the elbows because he's such a good passer as well. If you look back to that 2008 draft, uh, the then Sonics, now Thunder, took Westbrook at the four spot. A lot of people thought that was a reach, but I'll tell you what, you redo the draft right now, and he has a legitimate case of being the number one pick. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Golden State. Cut the bucket. Six points for Tom. Well, he's going to keep banging those home if you give him that much space. And they're trailing by eight. Westbrook with it, and it's Lynn picking him up. Dishes at the land. Here's Perkins. No good. Good tee by Lee. Well, one of his issues is he's a player that just does not excel at fighting through contact on his way to the rim. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. Far back in the 2008 draft, Westbrook had played kind of a combo yep. guard at UCLA. And there were some questions, I think, among a lot of scouts and personnel guys' minds about his ability to become a full-time point guard. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I think you always have to look at players, not just for what they might become, but what are they when they get to you. And Russell was a guy who was athletic, aggressive, hungry to get better. And when you've got those attributes and his athleticism, you're going to be a difference maker in the league, and he's proven that to be the case. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Jordan Hamilton comes in for smooth, and it's clutch in for Maverick. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Ibaka with the ball. Now Hamilton defending. Jordan Hamilton is going to pick up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And you know, these calls can be some of the toughest in the game for the officials. It all happened so fast, but I really think that was the right call. The defender was not really set in that situation. Terrence Williams has checked in for Jeremy Lamb. Five to shoot. The bench kicks to Durant. Shoots from the right block, and the bench shot is good. Durant's got eight. Boy, he can be a matchup nightmare inside the paint. Here's Lynn. And he draws body contact. Looked like a blocking foul, and he was uh, in the shooting motion. So he'll head to the free throw line. That one on Perkins. The Warriors have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. A different look for Oklahoma City. Adams comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Kevin Durant. Thunder trailing by 9. Outside Westbrook. It's rebounded by Golden State. Lee's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The shot's good from Clutch. Clutch has got 24. They've been splashing home those three since halftime. Definitely a big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. Lamb passes to Williams. Uses both hands to slam it down. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. Uh, if he's got a few more of those in him, uh, this lead will really start shrinking. Nice shot by Hamilton. So the defense sagged off, and, you know, he did not hesitate to rise up and bury that three. It's Westbrook with the drive, and it's blocked by Hamilton. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Clutch the pass to Doc. Oh! And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now. Clark, there is a swagger out here on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. That's right. Those are phenomenal dunks to watch. So much fun. And a new group getting ready for Oklahoma City. Warriors leading by 15. Passes it to Clutch. He dishes it to Beverly. Off target from three-point range. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. And Clark, while we have a moment, let's show you the list of players who put up the most points last year. Kevin Durant is second. Now, he never took a night off. I mean, it seemed like he was scoring big all season long. Just a, a terrific year for him. 
He feeds it to Lamb. Kicks it to Fisher. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Lamb. And finished off by Perkins. I like that they're taking it inside and taking advantage of each opportunity. Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense does a good job offensively, as, as we saw. The defensive presence was almost non-existent. And they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. That's good. And that's 10 points for Kevin Durant. Are you sensing or feeling a theme here, fellas? I mean, they're taking it straight to the bucket every time down. And why not? And that's eight straight points in the paint for this team. They're making this a very physical battle. Feeds to Fisher. Serge Ibaka will check in for Oklahoma City. Here's Durant. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And the Thunder making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. 46 seconds left in the third quarter. Two. No good from outside. He's normally a really big threat from long range. Struggling right now, he might need to mix his game up a little bit. Here's Fisher. The Thunder with another miss. Warriors leading by 13. The feed to Beverly. Beyond the arc. And that one's good. Beverly's got six. The D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been of the three-point variety. Yeah, and unless they make some rotations and closeouts defensively, there's more to come, Clark. Maybe that'll ignite them. I mean, impossible not to get pumped up after that. At least I think that would be the case. Well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are. Look at them. They are pumped up. Yeah, they're geek. That's what those alley-oops do, though. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. The Warriors. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. I thought we might see a little defensive adjustment at halftime, but the fast break continues to be effective. They worked hard tonight at crashing the boards as well. They had a bunch of second chance points. Sweep out there with David Lee. And there's Doc. And there's Maverick. And it's Lynn in the court. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Durant for three, and that one's good. Durant's got 11 in the second half. I wasn't so sure he could get it turned around after that poor first half, but uh, he's got it rolling here a little bit in the second. He kicks the land, and it's blocked by Lawton. Here is Doc. Oh, no good on the three. There's the pass to Long. The pass to good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got two assists tonight. Boy, they've come out of halftime just smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, Parker. They are going to continue to let him fly. There's the dish to Lamb. Inside the Perkins. And he banks in the layup. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And I think he, he believes that if he takes some time here to kind of talk things over, it'll be well served for this club. And, you know, maybe this gives them an opportunity to toy around with some of their game plan while he has their attention during this break in the action. Catching up on the changes for Golden State. Omerash, he's checked in for Lee. Harrison Barnes comes in for Maverick. And it's clutch in for Doc. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Mark Jackson has some words for his team over that break. He said to them, the lead we've got now is nice, but I want to make it even nicer. This is when we put the hammer down. It doesn't look like he's ready to back off just yet, guys. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. Yeah, it feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. 
Westbrook dishes to Perkins. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. That's really the area where they'd like all of their shots to come from. Clutch the pass to Long. Lynn, a three from Barnes. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Perkins got six rebounds in the game. Back to Lynn. Pass to Clutch. Shot clock at six. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Lynn's shot is off. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. And Lamb kicks to Perkins. And he drops it in from the low post. 16 points for Lamb. Warriors leading by 11. Here's Hugh. Rejected by Perkins. Here's Durant. And there's another one for the Thunder. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. The shot's good from Clutch. Clutch has got five points now in the quarter. Not much the defense can do once he gets to the bucket. Thunder trailing by 11. Lamb with the ball, and it's Lynn picking him up. Here's Hugh, and he dunks it down. The rim rattler. Just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. Yeah, that is showtime stuff right there. Major highlight reel material. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Westbrook double team. Ibaka defended by Long. Here's Lamb. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. So they'll get the basket. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. A lot of noise. Come on now, young fella. Watch out. You might bring that whole basket down on top of him. I didn't think he was ever going to let go of the rim. <laughs> I think he was just enjoying the moment up there. Oklahoma City's gone. 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the free ball well. And Jeremy Lamb, the bucket on the assist by Westbrook. 21 points for Lamb. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. But three, and that one's good. That's 36 points for Clutch. He's just been the man since the start of this quarter. Just a tremendous period of basketball for him. Lamb dishes to Westbrook. Outside Durant. Again, Oklahoma City. Boy, has he picked it up in the second half. He's on fire. Here's you. Another three for Golden State. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're losing by 14. 127 left to play here in the fourth. Omerash, he's checked in for Golden State. Outside Westbrook. He passes it to Lamb. Just fine on the clock. Here's Durant. Again, Oklahoma City. You know, no matter what you do with Durant defensively, nothing bothers him. Uh, you, you try to be physical with him, you know, that's probably your best bet. But that's easier said than done because he can get around you with that speed and quickness. But really what he's looking to do is create space and shoot over the top. And you've just highlighted a lot of what he has from a skill standpoint. It's his demeanor, that unflappable nature, that always in attack mode. He's got the quick release. He's got the size to shoot over most in the, any defender. And uh, he can go for buckets in a hurry. He's streaky, but he's efficient as well as effective for long stretches. He's special. We watched Lamb play great basketball. He's got 21 points, and the steals are starting to pile up for him also. They sure have, and clearly he's gotten in their heads because of it, Clark. The guys are looking over their shoulder now, always worrying about where he is. And the Thunder making a switch here. And as he's checked in for Perkins. Allison comes in for Serge Ibaka. Roberson, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And Tavo Cephalosha subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And this game is finally getting away from him. Yep, it has gotten away. There's not really anything they can do now. 
clutch the pass to Doc. Here's clutch. Here's the three. Gets it to go. Clutch has got 42 in the game. Terrific job taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. A lot of positive energy in the building. 12 seconds left in the game. Sepalosha's shot is good. They ran that inbounds play perfectly there to get the quick hitter. The 17 footer. It's rebounded by Adams. Here's Roberson. Okay. So the Warriors get the win here. They pulled off this win, Clark, with respectable performances on both ends of the floor. Yeah.